Hi, I'm Elizabeth Drury, and I will be joining you, and we'll be working together in cultural context of ministry for the next eight weeks. And I'm looking forward to it. This is a topic that I love, and I just wanted to um, just make an introduction today and say hi. I would welcome all of you, if you would like, to post a brief video of yourselves as well, just to say hello to your classmates, tell us a little bit about you, and we're going to be learning and experiencing something together. Um, I've taught this class on campus, and I've never taught it online before, so we'll see how this goes. But based on my other experiences in online courses, it seems like students do a lot of time, they spend a lot of time typing and reading, and um, you sort of have your head buried down in your computer a lot. And um, it just seems to add something when we have a little bit of interpersonal exchange um, when you can actually see the person and hear their voice so I'm gonna try something this time and that is to every week post two videos I think it will be two um, instead of writing up announcements because typically professors type up greetings to their um, classes or they'll type up announcements or if there is some kind of corrective to the conversation that will be typed, but what if we try it like this? What if I make a video twice a week? One will preview the coming week, and um, the other will give feedback for assignments um, and discussion. So we'll give it a try. I have to admit, now I have taught online before, just not this course, and I have to admit that this is the first time I've ever posted a video, so I feel a little awkward. Um, so I had to wait until everybody got out of the house so that I could be here all by myself. Um, we have four boys. I live in the Washington, D.C. area with my husband, Scott. We've been married for 22 years, and I'm a licensed minister in the Wesleyan Church. I just finished my Ph.D. in the Cook School of Intercultural Studies at Biola University in Orange County, California. And um, our four boys are, we have two 11-year-olds, uh, a 14-year-old, and a 15-year-old and um, they're all out right now, which is good. But I just wanted to say before this course starts, I've taught it often enough to know that sometimes when people enter the room or let's say this online forum and you're taking this course, Cultural Context of Ministry, that some of you really wonder, it's not, you're not, this isn't out of bad motives or um, any kind of sense of like being closed to other people or anything like that. Some of you honestly don't know why this class is going to be important to you. And you, I've had a student before who lived on the shores of Lake Erie and he was in a very um, affluent white retirement community um, in a little inlet on Lake Erie. And he came into the room and he felt defensive right off the bat because he thought, you know, what's this class going to mean to me? Everybody in my context is pretty much the same, at least socioeconomically, ethnically, even generationally. And so he came in really honestly wondering what was he going to gain from the course. I've had other students who come from env environments like where I live. We're in the D.C. area. It's very diverse. Um, I have these grandiose ideas that before the course is over, I'll take my computer out to McDonald's or somewhere just around the corner so that you can see the environment that we live in. Um, it's very, very diverse. And before this, we lived in Southern California. We were there for 11 years. We were in a very urban part of Los Angeles County. And we were at a multi-ethnic church there. We were at a multi-ethnic church here. Um, and. Um, it's been great experience, and so I come to this course with a little bit of a different perspective than some of you. Um, there are some of you who come from places just like this. We are probably in this course from quite a range of backgrounds. So what we will get from one another during this course may be better than what we get from textbooks or um, anything I could teach. Um, I think that in an adult environment like this, we can learn a lot from each other. So I look forward to that. I always leave a course having learned more from my students um, and I really appreciate that time and interaction. So I just want to encourage you, if you're from a place and you think there's no diversity in my community, um, I just want to let you know um, you will get something out of this course. Uh, 
I've never had the experience with students um, who haven't gained a lot from the course. So it's about um, caring for people who are not from our comfort zone, not from our own um, group, whatever that group is. There's something about human beings um, that makes us like to be part of a group that affirms our values and um, our privileges and um, the way we, we know how we like things to be in life and we sort of gravitate toward groups that reinforce that so that we're safe. So part of the gospel is embodying um, what Jesus did in the incarnation um, and coming, crossing this border into humankind uh, to experience life with us and to offer salvation to us. So we want to live incarna incarnationally in our communities as well. So with that, blessings. Please feel free to contact me with any questions. I look forward to it.